Oumuamua, an alien probe. Increasingly, we are finding the mainstream news looking more and more like the sensational or paranormal articles in tabloid magazines 10, 20 years ago. Nowadays, what used to be sensational and unbelievable is becoming more mainstream as something that is more and more plausible. And some people in the disclosure and UFO communities argue that this is a sim symptom of the partial the disclosure process, which is the process of slowly implementing crazy ideas to the population so that they very, very gradually learn to accept ideas like other dimensions, mind outside the brain, extraterrestrial contact, technology beyond our imaginations, interstellar travel, things like that. So the latest news headline is, what is Oumuamua? Harvard professor A.V. Loeb defends his proposal that it's an alien probe. A Harvard University professor who says a strange interstellar object passing through our solar system may be an alien space probe has come out fighting against his critics. Here's some info about Oumuamua. There's a bizarre asteroid which uh, folks at Harvard University began speculating maybe it was not an asteroid because it was doing things asteroids are not supposed to do, like speeding up and moving in a strange pace and also where it came from, which was beyond our solar system. So it was a true interstellar visitor. And um, the original idea that it was just a meteorite began to fall by the wayside and these scientists at Harvard began speculating that it may be essentially a UFO, really an extraterrestrial craft. Harvard University Astronomy Department Chair Abby Loeb is no stranger to controversy. His suggestion a strange object spotted entering our solar system from deep space could be an alien probe is the most recent example. But now he's added fuel to the fire. In an, in in an interview with the Israeli newspaper Haaretz, the Israeli professor has fiercely defended his hypothesis. As soon as we leave the solar system, I believe we will see a great deal of traffic out there, he said. Possibly we'll get a message that says, welcome to the interstellar club, or we'll discover multiple dead civilizations, that is, we'll find their remains. At the heart of the debate is Oumuamua. Translated from Hawaiian, it means messenger sent from the distant past. It came from outside the ecliptic, the flat swirl of uh, planets, asteroids, and stuff that was spun into space as our solar system formed. It had an odd reddish color, suggesting, suggesting extreme exposure to cosmic rays, but it was relatively bright, at least compared with the average coal black color of most of the comets and asteroids. It was moving very, very fast and was seen to accelerate as it moved away from the sun, as comets do, but it didn't have a comet's tail. It was also seen to flicker quickly, although it was an elongated or flat object in, a, in, a, in what was supposed to have been a wild tumble. So next, um, um, we go into more detail about background, like the, the SETI program, looking for ET signals, and this guy is defending his hypothesis that it may be an alien probe of some kind. The big point here I see is we're seeing in the mainstream media a lot more information that yesteryear was exclusively for the paranormal back of the newspaper section. Nowadays, the paranormal is becoming more like normal. Uh, a little over a year ago, we had a sort of mini disclosure event where it was revealed that there was a Pentagon research program into UFOs. And you had some very qualified Air Force pilots coming out on all the news, major news stations, describing what they've seen with footage to back it up. But that kind of went by the wayside. Like that came and went. People, people heard about it. It was interesting, but then people moved on. But that's how people are. Where our attention span is very low. And despite, I think, what, you know, allegedly, if there is a partial disclosure thing happening, I think they underestimate human society. They underestimate how bad our attention span is and how it will only take about a month before something comes along and distracts us. 
So they could come out on TV with an alien spaceship landing. And the aliens could wave at the camera, and the world leaders can come together and announce, we are not alone. And it'll be all over the news for about two months. And then there'll be some scandal with the Kardashians or something, and people will be like, yeah, yeah, yesterday's news, there's aliens, whatever. And then they'll be back to business as usual. So I think, you know, if there is some kind of a thing happening where they have information and they're not ready to share it with us, I really think that they underestimate just how superficial as a species we are. Because that superficiality will allow us to accept things like aliens and just integrate with it. We're a highly adaptable species. And this can also apply to all the Paris stuff we talk about, whether it's psychic powers or after death contact. Like we are integrating with all this information, but the powers that be have the ability to finally set the record straight and reveal all of these subjects to the greater population. I don't really think it will cause mass panic and chaos. I mean, even if it does, then so be it. Let it play out. Because at the end of the day, we need to expand into these new horizons and get away from scientism and materialism that has enveloped our society as this philosophy that basically says we're just a bunch of biological robots and we're alone in the universe. Anything that can poke a hole in that divisive and nihilistic way of looking at the universe, the better. Well, if you like this kind of thing, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if possible, uh, hit the afterlifetopics.com. You can check out my books like Understanding Life After Death. Or you can um, get involved with the Facebook group. Join the bi-weekly classes at Afterlife University. Any of that would really help out this neck of the woods. But probably the most important thing is subscribing to the channel, uh, sharing, hitting that notification bell. That keeps this whole operation going. All right, this is Cyrus. I'll see you on the next video.